so welcome to my little base tour um, we want to take a break from the server so I want to make a base tour for YouTube this is a server with two people and four and a half months of playing this pack the pack is fire on the pipe it's 1.7.10 modded minecraft um, it's totally in survival so no cheating except from two bugs and we had to reset the wipe reset the server two times because we had bugs um, the pack itself it's fire in the pipe 2 from Kihan uh, he makes also farming valley so pretty uh, noticeable person and it's everything is really hard and it's based around crack tech okay let's see we will start in this corner that was our starting it's the weird looking mm, the weird looking clay here it's a pretty much historical site our walls were this design before we changed to the wood design uh, here's an entrance for a runic dungeon we cleared that out and started from this corner expanding our base this is the kitchen uh, the configs are set to eat with spice of life and hunger overhaul to eat 80 different foods so you have always eat very different kinds of food and if you do, do a good kitchen you don't have a problem with that uh, one thing we started pretty early on is our garden area we did it a little bit outside because we wanted to build in the mesa i give an overview of the mesa later uh, we started in this area because here is a forest and I see two crops don't like to grow in mesas so we did all the IC2 crops they are pretty uncommon but very useful if you read up on that you can get a lot of resources from IC2 crops this is automated farming not in the beginning but later you get that for example this are oil berries you get oil from the crops on the outside here are the fruit trees you can't get them all from a marketplace you have to have a little bit luck in the environment or in the villager trades here's an entrance to a zombie farm we didn't connect that yet to the main path flex farm from blue power 1.710 has blue power in it and you can use that really easy and the agricraft crops a little bit easy and the corner here we had a little bit bees it's a basic vanilla automation only with a relay or hopper and a pipe but they work on its own the chances for um, breeding or for the mutations in the bees are really low so you had to get gen discrete to get that going <coughs> in this corner a little farm pretty common thing and with the uh, with the sprinklers it's really a nice nice fast growing uh, the connection to downstairs because it's everything is automated we will see later when we come from the basement here's a little bit of the botania setup pretty much the main botania area for the Gaia fight and everything else and in this corner is a thorncraft area both have has a downstairs we will see later we go back in the direction of the kitchen I will 
go a little bit around so you don't easily lose the directions. This is pretty much the base entrance. Uh, space for expanding. And then from this way we are in the kitchen again. Smeltery, a little bit of a smeltery storage area with storage drawers. They are all connected through trims and the controller and the AE2 system uh, it says it's them so we can get it per hand or pair the a uh, at the uh, with the a2 system this is the main machine area here for everyday use blast furnaces crack tech machines and we started on automating everything with a2 implosion compressor vacuum freezer the normal crack tech machines you need for your everyday use. A little bit of a nuclear setup, very safe because we only needed a little bit for plutonium. On the downstairs in the same area, a lot of tanks. The chemistry in Gregtec is very highly or very highly specialized, so you need a lot of things. I will go through the normal setup from the uh, that happens sometimes with the chunk borders that tank doesn't form and it seems to be empty but it isn't empty or maybe it's empty because <laughs> we didn't reset last night so we are under the farm now, the forestry farm is up there. We're getting from that soybeans, we uh, pretty much change them into fishes. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Nice thing about doing it in a survival, something like that happens. We are doing potatoes and soybeans. Soybeans get turned into fish. The fish goes to the fish goes to uh, fish oil. Fish oil goes to biodiesel. Biodiesel will be then um, cetane boosted diesel with pretty much the potatoes will get turned into biomass in the distillery, biogas and all the different chemicals to make the cetane boosted diesel. So this setup is pretty much only diesel. And the other setup for power is an oil tank that's empty at the moment, not by design. Something is wrong, don't care at the moment. This is a refinery splits it up into the different fuels from oil and that oil cracker and the distillery splits up the different chemicals the chemicals you need for all the different plastics for example we have polyethylene polyvinyl polytetra and here are more epoxy resin silicon rubber and so on so it's pretty much a refinery. This is the clean room you need for lasering wafers. This is a compactor setup. And so that's that. Our main power comes from diesel engines with a little on off switch with basic redstone. Uh, that is the uh, oxygen setup to get automated oxygen from glass another diesel engine because uh, that's pretty much for oh, uh, UU meta amplifier so we just got that and uh, it's only for if we're really short on something we can start that and get a little bit it's in the beginning so not yet automated that's a normal piping you need 
a little bit impressive. Uh, on the other hand, very complicated to get all the liquids to the different things. This is an assembly line. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a video later in detail about that because that's one of the biggest multi-block I know in terms of correct tech. The rest of upstairs, a little bit of jail for the villagers. This is gen industry apiaries for bees, a little bit of a bee corner. This is the downstairs of the Botania area with a, a lunium. So we get the loot out of the flower and that gives something we are pretty much after it. In this area, this is a little bit of a cake factory <coughs> to get Botania going for the mana. So we're making cake. It's a complicated recipe in this pack. <coughs> so we are getting a lot of cake from that. A little bit it's expanded storage. This is the downstairs from the Palmcroft area with all the heads because we ran out of storage space. We are here at the Thorncraft area again, from the front. We are, uh, Botania is on the right side, so it's pretty much like a U formed in the Mesa. Over here, we have a witch circle uh, with a spawner. Uh, that isn't finished yet, but pretty much we are using that to get redstone and s glowstone and so on. Also we have here a self-sufficient system to get more ruby, especially ruby because late game you need chrome. You split up redstone into silicon, pyrite and ruby. Um, you get also quicksilver out of this. Out of this recipe you get quicksilver, you did a solidifier for the quicksilver balls and then uh, the energy generator makes the energy for this system itself. So this system gives you automatically ruby and so on. So you don't have to worry about processing and you have always ruby and ruby you need later on for a lot of chrome. We have a little bit of a shortcut here to get back to the chemicals. Uh, one of the last things is uh, upstairs in between in the mountain is a little bit of a uh, ramp for galactic craft for the rocket to the moon. At the moment it's closed. We have an opening here. and you start out of the mountain. Nice little touch. That's uh, the, <laughs> yeah, it's the roof. That was a lot of work. And also let's go back here so I can close the roof again. Not that it rains on the rocket, we don't want that. This is still not finished. Uh, here's a little bit of a shortcut. This goes uh, up. We started a little bit of an enchanting area here. Here should be a terrace. And then you come out here with the path on the wall, on the front wall. back back pretty much this way around to the kitchen again so you have to have a nice little walk if you want to see everything okay that's pretty much it like I said everything is built in survival not in uh, creative so that took us somewhat around four and a half months with two people 
garlic in your eye and me and we had a lot of fun with the server and uh, I think we will come back but we are now taking a break but I wanted to get it <laughs> we will uh, see when we come back but that's pretty much a base tour about it and a lot of things are missing now um, if you have question ask in the comments or visit on the twitch channel we are always open for questions uh, or if you have questions about any of the mods we used cool thank you for watching and have a nice day